Why do I take Ignite in this matchup? Uh, it really helps kill Darius. And he also has a really fat heal on his Q, on his outer Q. So even if you do get hit by that with Ignite, you can still win a lot of the time. Um, I, I mainly just take it for the damage, though. If you don't take Ignite, I feel like the matchup isn't really that playable until level 9. But if you do have Ignite, you can start playing the matchup at level 6. Like, you have a good chance for a kill. If you ER Ignite, if you have all those things and you land your E, you have a really good chance to kill Darius. Is waiting till level 9 to go Olin, is that waiting too long? Um, it can be, depending on the game. It really depends on how the game is going. I feel like, on average, a lot of games these days, it waiting for level 9 does feel kind of long. But, uh, I don't know. Some matchups you have to do that with Ergot, to be honest. Also, I'm going the greedy way. All right, God bless. He's not in the bush. You want to go around this way if you leash blue against Darius. I was already too committed. Just gonna eat to make sure I get those first creeps. It's kind of sketchy using a shotgun on this. Can sometimes get the three-in-one shotgun, but more of a gamble than just using E. Oh yeah, he went D-Shield. I'm not even going to worry too much about autos. Try to get those autos when he goes up to farm, but... Other than that, we'll be pretty chill. I think he's running second win too. I didn't see the plate. I think that's the best thing about Darius right now is the fact that you can go D shield second win and then just like your base health regen. You can just tie so many lanes like that. Even poke lanes. It can be hard to kill poke lanes but I don't know, it feels pretty easy to not die if you tech in all those HP regions. I'm a little bit scared right now because Kane should be top. Gonna be really hard to live a gank. Oh, he does have bone plating. Might be a trade. Nah, he's got triumph. Yeah, see, that situation's so tough. Kane came through the wall right here. I knew that was going to happen, but the wave's just so bad, there's not really too much I can do. I think going for the trade kill is good. That was close. That's right. We can afford to give one kill in this matchup. I skilled very well on Tim, so not the end of the world. That's gonna work. Dang, Pantheon mid is getting pretty out farmed by that AZ. Thought that'd be a good lane for him early. Kind of thinking I should have went Cole with Longsword, by the way. Then I don't get any HPs, but it might be better. Kind of a hard call. No pun intended.
Not too big of a deal, though. We'll just rush our cleaver. I don't know if I'd say that gank is that weird by the can. I was kind of expecting it. Also, I'm going to make this look bad. We're just baiting. Dude, get this cannon off me. Oh my god, the cannon just killed me. I thought Kano was going to start with a W. Hmm. I mean Viego, not Ken, sorry. Uh, this is really bad. I'm gonna get a refillable. We gotta play really safe. He really should have just started with a W right away. That was weird. He let the Darius just kind of five stack. I was just baiting that. All right, at least we get this wave, man. I'll try my best to come back into this game. It's gonna be pretty tough now, though. You to my words while my speak. Grinder Ignite, maybe we can do something. If he doesn't go Steel Caps, we have a chance to kill. If I'm playing Darius, though, I definitely go Steel Caps here. On this back. Yeah, dang it, he wants steel caps. I literally have to flash that key or I die. We will rise from the rubble stronger than before. Mm, this wave is not good. An ally has been slain. We got his ghost, but I'm pretty sure he's got flash. Okay, that was a sick kill. The E into the Q, man, that's really good if you can do that. I hope jungle's not up here, man. If I can just push, I'll be a happy camper. I don't really care if I last hit these. Except for the cannon. That one I do care a little bit. Just want to get that wave shoved ASAP. We can actually go for one. Kane's bot. Nice, this is really good for me. Oh my god, I feel so slow right now, dude. Not even tier 1 boots on the gut. Ooh, that's a nice buy, though. That works out perfect. Alright, looking pretty good. Just play off the grinder, play off the ignite, land that E. It's really all this matchup comes down to. Slowly outscale him. We almost got through the hard part of the game, just getting to my level 9. Oh, this guy's super extended. Damn, I'm sad he doesn't die for that. But he also doesn't get a play, so. Still something. Is Adarius filled? Um, I don't think so. He had a decent chunk of mastery. He might be. I don't look at, like, OPGG or anything. I don't like to look at that stuff.
I don't want anything to like impact my gameplay. I think this guy's super. Oh. I think I just saw the cane in there. That was cane, wasn't it? Yeah. Kane's in there for sure. Look at him. He's baiting that. We got a Pantheon, though. We should fight this. Sweet. Darius played that really well, actually. Whoa, he's got a crown already? It's a pretty farm daisy. Ideally, I just want to push in the wave here. If Azer stays, then he loses a wave mid. Actually, I'm going to greet a little bit. It's a cannon wave. That's pretty good tower damage. Let the minions finish the job. Crown's only 2,800. Yeah, that's true. It's a cheap item. Honestly, man, I don't think Crown is even that good. I can see it against Pantheon. I see why he built it this game. But uh, I don't mind when they go Crown over like a Ludens or even Everfrost. I feel like it's more annoying. Like, late game with Urgot, I can just key poke the crown off. And then just wait a little bit. Dude, if I had E-Flash, I could kill that guy right now. He's greeting. Yeah, he's got a pop ghost. Once I get those cleaver stacks. We got the red buff slowing in, plus the cleaver stacks building up. How much movement speed do I get per stack? Three? Not an insane amount, but stacks up to five times. Make sure we ping that too, actually. Come on, Ignite! Dude, what healed him? Dude, Ocean Drake healed him. That was Ocean Drake heal. I saw like a decent heal. Dang, that sucks we miss E Flash. That's my bad. I'm so glad the turret went on Pantheon and not me. If turret goes on me, I think that play backfires. Good looks by the Pantheon there. Should be fine, right? Oh my god, they're all up here. And this guy's got exhaust. Getting his exhaust is pretty good. They might be able to kill. Okay. Got flash as well. Dude, honestly, that's not bad. I'll take that. Also, let's go Titanic second. I like Titanic second to Darius. Just get that HP. Only counter against true damage. Goliath Why is there always three top? Yeah, that's the life of top lane, dude. I think every game today there's been a three-man top at least once. That's how it goes when you try to, especially when you try to greed for turret. Oh, they're 
bot lane's going mid. Definitely don't want to fight these guys. Probably just go back top. I welcome you. Hey, thanks for the support, by the way, Skio3. Appreciate the tier one sub, dude. That one says a long time. Thanks for supporting, dude. We got some long subs around here, man. Appreciate you guys. If you hide in the shadows, you are only drawing me home. Oh. Man, if I was sitting in that bush, I could have just killed that guy. His crown was down. I'm sure a lot of you guys know, but there's like a orange shield around them if they have that crown up. It's an easy way to tell. Just if there's any new people learning. Crown is a really uncommon item. But they have like a big orange barrier blown around them. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Maybe snipe somebody. I got a red can is insane. Get back here. Get back in that grindy. Oh, he didn't die. All right. Well, I can't really chase a red can, so we're just gonna go for tower. Dragon 10. The Red King is so hard to win against right now. I feel like this champ is actually insane. My win rate's been so bad against Red uh, Red King lately. Like honestly, even when I buy anti heal, that champ is still hard to kill. Ooh, no ward. I don't know. I kind of feel like we should have just started drag there. I think they're going for a Shelly tread. Oh, wait, maybe not. Yeah, we got Kalen traps. We can just rush this. I love how easy it is to snipe Dravens. Since they just try to catch the axe, you just line it up. Draven's one of the ADCs I actually don't mind. It's just annoying when he gets fed in lane and just like takes over the game, which actually does happen quite a bit. But in terms of like team fights, I don't really mind playing against him. Just annoying when he smashes that bot lane. Oh, dude, I thought Pantheon was going to back me up. I guess after we see four, that is pretty scary to go in on. Yeah, I should have walked him, I guess. I don't think I could have, though, because I got Azerwold. Yeah, once I get Azerwold, I mean, maybe if I, like, flash over. But that, then the Red Cane is going to have his W back, right? Alright, whatever. Let's get Titanic. Um, definitely Eclipse game, I'm thinking. Really get into Redken. And also get into Darius, too. Nice, I came to have ulti for that fight. They don't have Azerwall, too, so I guess them going for me was actually pretty bad. Now they lose the team fight. I don't even need my Q anymore with this Titanic. It's feeling nice.
Prowler's Bork Renekton? I actually haven't played against that lately. It's pretty rare for me to go against Renekton. Whoa. Oh my god. They should be able to get the Darius. Okay, not bad. Oh my god, that pan damage. Everyone's doing so much damage in this match. Yeah, that was a really good fight for us. We'll take that. Really good fight for Caitlyn getting picked right at the start. I feel like Caitlyn's not too important right now. Like, she's doing good. I'm not trying to flame her, but... I feel like that's the best person to pick right now, honestly. But yeah, I haven't played against any uh, Renekton. I haven't seen the champ in a while. That's a matchup I do like playing, though. I do like the lane versus Renekton. Well, I like to scale into him. Lane is actually kind of hard. That champ is kind of just made for the 1v1. The only reason Rennington's not a really insane champ is just because he's not that good in teamfight. So if you can, try to force him into teamfighting. Try to get to the teamfight before him and try to force him force him to answer. Definitely easier said than done sometimes. Flash. Red King casually 1v5ing. Actually, yeah, Baron's the call, dude. Baron's the call. Ah, oh, they're going Drag. Can maybe do both. I don't know, is this the play? I really wish our jungle just came over, man. Like, we can Baron into Drake easily. But Drake into Baron is another story that's really sketchy. Seems like we're good. The sketchy play works out. I'm just going to keep grouping right now because we don't have TP. Don't really want to split too much this game. I think our team fight is really strong right now. Kind of feel like we should just five man bot to be honest. Yeah, I agree. Just kind of hovering in case something happens. Not too bad to kill that guy when we got the whole squad. Yeah, every red cane goes this build now with like prowlers. They just go full AD, so they're ultimate nukes. They're still kind of tanking an actual fight. And like a 5v5 team fight. Oh 
she flashed. I got really good shotgun damage off that. It's actually bearing up the wave. It speeds it up a little bit. Actually, wait, does it speed it up? I think it does. I'm actually not sure. Maybe it doesn't. Nearby allied minions are vastly enhanced. 423. I think they had 423 at the buff. I don't think it does. I think it used to. I don't think it does anymore. And Elegen, thanks for the resub, man. Another 13 months sub. Thank you, dude. <laughs> Vastly enhanced. Yeah, I guess that just means like armor. Some weird wording. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go Sterix for my next item. It's actually insanely good this game. Sterix is really good when they have bursts like Darius Ulti. And also a red cane ulti. The shield could really save me this game. Aw, oh, he's so lucky. Now I'm dead. Hey, look at the damage on red cane. Alright, my bad. We missed a knee. Dang, dude. It's like that meme we were just talking about a few games ago, our last game. You either land that E on Ergot and you kill him, or you miss E and you just die. It's so true, man. Would have been a kill, but I guess in hindsight, we don't really need to go for a kill there, to be honest. Like, a kill doesn't really get us too much. Yeah, you don't get base AD from anything on Urgot, but I think Urgot does have fairly decent base AD. Zyra sounds kind of scary with that skin, dude. I welcome you. Whoa, Allogen. Thank you for the five gifted, dude. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, dude. Supporting the channel. You guys are too generous, man. I feel way more comfortable if I had Flash. That Red Cane's still at ulti, by the way. I was wondering if I'd get the pull off. Oh yeah, we got this. Good plays, dude. Very nice game. Good lane recovery that game too. We start off 0-2. That ignite into the grinder kill, man. That's what really got me back in it. Also, that Pantheon mid turned out to be pretty good. 
I respect the rooms on that. Nice, 25k damage. Whoa, dude, I got 17 LP. I usually get 16. Sweet. Getting kind of close back to D1. 2.4k PTA damage. Solid game, dude.